Edible Mesh Edit Geometry Rollout Attach Button. I'm going to start off here by let's make a let's make a let's go to Extended Primitives and let's make a chamfered box. And I'm going to come in here and make a little chamfered box here. And I'm going to come over and change the fillet here to one. And so here I have a chamfered box right and now I'm going to just come in and make a sphere and uh, oh maybe down here I'll make a sphere uh, let's see alright so there's my sphere alright and uh, let's do a move. Let's make sure we don't confuse things. Let's make sure it's not touching. All right. Now we got two objects. I'm going to take and right click on the uh, chamfered box and I'm going to convert it to an editable mesh. Now I have an editable mesh. I'm in my modified button, or modified uh, tab in my command panel, and I have a meta modified mesh or an editable mesh. I'm going to come down here to my edit geometry and I'm going to click now that my uh, this chamfered box is selected I'm going to click on attach and when I click on attach I'm going to come over here and pick on you'll see that over here I have a chamfered box and a sphere I'm going to pick on the sphere and boom they both are now part of the chamfered box they are attached together uh, and so this is all one item now we also have an attach list and the attach list is used to attach numbers of items uh, so I can just pick up the list and it'll find the various objects so uh, let's uh, let's do something like this and let's make some more objects uh, let's just make a few more objects here. I'll pick uh, in a cylinder here. Okay. And now I'm picking on my edible mesh. Right. I'm going to modify. I'll come down into my attach list. And you can see now I have a couple different things I can pick off the list. I can pick both of them and say attach. And now all of them are part of the object. So now all of these are one object. And I wanted them to be separate. So you can just see that, hey, it will attach them separately or if they're touching or whatever. So the attach button and the attach list button allow us then to select an object to attach to my editable mesh.